Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review an unknown compelling force, and this is the true story of the Dyatlov Pass incident, Nine Dead Hikers, 60 Years of Secrets, Russia's Greatest Mystery Uncovered. Or is it? And you have writer-director Liam Le Guio, who is the one who directs this film and takes us on this adventure of, I don't know what, like, right off the bat, this doesn't sound great, does it? So this film focuses on this so-called mystery, which apparently the Russian government has, like, put to bed, like, these people died in an avalanche. But our director is unconvinced, and there's a lot of other people. Aliens, Russian Yeti, murderers, and they all turned on each other. And you have all these conspiracy theories that this film tries to tackle and shed some light on, but never really commits to anything, nor does this have any resolution by the end. And it's kind of just like, like even the text today is like, still unresolved, and you're just like, and why the hell did I watch this movie? And I guess some positive things. There's there's some technical aspects of this film that I think are pretty cool. It uses like these old pictures and it manipulates them into adding depth to them and you're like entering into these pictures and those are some cool things. And obviously there's a lot of passion here. This dude really cares about this story, except it makes it so melodramatic the whole entire time. And what I don't get about this film is there's reasonable explanation for all of the things that happen to these people. Avalanche, like, but they're missing eyeballs and tongues. There's animals. They were, one of them had their face stuck in this running water that, like, messed up her face. And, like, there's actual technical reasoning for this. But that's not good enough. It's not a cool enough answer. So you have to speculate, like, it can't possibly just be an avalanche. It has to be aliens. It has to be a Yeti. It has to be. But it doesn't, and this film portrays this as it does, and it has to be. And there's no reason why, like, there's no outstanding reason why. And, like, I understand that people question it. They can question this, like, it was an avalanche and, like, you know, animals could have been picking at them and stuff like that. People can question that. But there's no compelling evidence to support any of these other outlandish theories because, like, no, an avalanche is too unbelievable up on a mountain with a bunch of snow, but aliens, that's believable. So you have that. And it feels so forced. And this whole film, film feels overly dramatic. It's just like, but I'm going to get to the bottom of this. It's just like, no, you didn't, dude. So... Why did I watch this movie? And also, it got boring. Like, the pacing of this, this is like an almost an hour and 50 minute documentary that just felt like a slog throughout the whole entire thing. The more I think about it, the, least I, the less I like this. Maybe that one and a half stars out of five on Letterboxd is a little generous. I'm sitting here thinking like, this film makes no sense. There's no reason for me to reinforce what this guy is trying to see here and it just felt like a big waste of time like why does this dude need to go to uh, need to go to Russia what was him going to Russia to look at the plays 60 years later going to help him figure out nothing why why this movie why watch this movie i leave my review at that those are my thoughts on an unknown compelling force. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. I'm really curious about this one in particular. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.